Did you know that Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company or TSMC has just become the first Asian company that reached the 1 trillion market cap? Yep, that's the trillion with 12 zeros. Right after TSMC released their earnings report for the third quarter of the year on the 17th October, they totally crushed the expectation of the market with their revenue, net profit and earnings per share have exceeded the expectation. This has driven another wave of optimism to the AI boom. Now, TSMC is the most valuable chip maker or chip manufacturer. The big question is, so what is next for TSMC? Will they continue this momentum or are there challenges that could slow them down? Do stick around to find out. Let's take a look at what is driving their success and what could be the potential risk with the recent investigation by the Department of Justice or potential breach of US sanction. So what does TSMC exactly do? What is their business model? Let's put it into simple term. Imagine it's like a movie industry. TSMC is not the innovative or creative director. They are the one that produce the DVD. Unlike other AI company, tech companies like NVIDIA, Apple or AMD, they are the ones that design the chips and then they will need TSMC to produce the design based on their request. Most tech companies are relying on TSMC to produce the AI design. So, do you think that TSMC is important? Yes, of course they are. Without TSMC, the design by this Big companies like NVIDIA, Apple, they are unable to put their AI design into reality to put them into life. So this is the business model of TSMC. They are the AI chip makers, AI foundry, or we can call it like a AI chips factory. They will produce the chips based on their customer design. When you are using a smartphone, driving an electric vehicle or playing a game on the PC, these are all thanks to the powerful AI chips. Although they are small, but they are powerful and has become more energy efficient. And TSMC is now the largest AI chips manufacturer. They dominate about 60% of the global market share and they are the ones that are leading this industry, being able to produce the most advanced AI chips. Advanced AI technology meaning those chips below 7 nanometers. If TSMC is just a DVD producer, who are their customers? Their customers must be very important. So, yes, you can have a guess. Apple is their largest customer, contributing to over 25% of TSMC total revenue. So if you are using the fancy iPhone 16, MacBook or iPad, these are thanks to the TSMC at one chip that is able to make them more efficient, more powerful and having a more high performance computing. And the second largest customer is NVIDIA. They are contributing to about 10% of TSMC total revenue. Given NVIDIA has the intention to mass produce their Blackwell chips, and the question is, is NVIDIA going to continue partner or depends on TSMC on chip production or they are going to outsource to other suppliers like Samsung. So this is a question to answer. Please comment below uh, to share your view. But for right now, it is likely that NVIDIA is continue to collaborate with TSMC simply because uh, TSMC is the leading chip manufacturer. <laughs> okay. Now let's look at the quarter three financial performance, they totally queued it. Their revenue hit 23.5 billion US dollars, which was a 39% year-over-year increase compared to the same quarter last year. What about their net profit and earnings per share? Both are up by over 50% year-over-year. That's an impressive result and beating the estimate of most analysts, which is why their share price skyrocketed last week. What is driving their success is definitely the competitive advantage in producing this advanced process technology, those below 7 nanometer. Their most advanced technology is the 3 nanometer technology, which make up of about 20% of their total revenue, 
together with the 5 nanometer and 7 nanometer technologies, contributed to a total 69% of its revenue. So I was wondering, how small is this nanometer? Uh, if I'm going to compare to a strand of hair, this is 100 times larger than a nanometer. So you can imagine how small is the chip, but how powerful it is. They continue to innovate and their plans to produce this even smaller chip at only 2 nanometers chip starting next year. As long as there is demand for AI and smartphone, TSMC should have enough demand to support its business growth. And what is surprising is they are still able to maintain a high gross margin at 57.8%, which is considered one of the best in the industry. And this has improved compared to the previous quarter. And the company has planned to raise their price by at least 5% moving forward because they have the power to do so. Here's my take on the company. They are financially strong, showing positive growth in terms of earnings. They have top-tier customer base, including Apple and NVIDIA. They are very innovative and continue to produce smaller and more powerful chips. So they are the ones that started to produce this 3 nanometers chips in 2022. Right now, TSMC has the plan to expand its manufacturing plant beyond Taiwan to diversify risk away from Taiwan given its geopolitical tension and moving the manufacturing plants to Japan to be more to be closer to its key customers like car manufacturers and Sony. Coupled with the positive news that TSMC is collaborating with MCOR, the second largest chips packaging uh, company in US. This is also going to enable them to able to produce uh, better AI chips. But there's not always smooth sailing. Given the recent news that uh, TSMC is under the investigation for potential violation under the US sanction because uh, it was claimed that TSMC is indirectly or directly selling chips to Huawei. And we understand that there is restriction on uh, export to China company. This is not the first time that some tech companies are under the investigation by the Department of Justice, just like similar case like Google. So the possible situation is that they may have to pay a hefty fine if it is proven that they are doing this uh, violation, or they may be banned from doing business or losing their customers in US, which could be a lot. This is a possible risk that could slow them down, but given that uh, NVIDIA is continue to partner with TSMC and the manufacturing plant expansion by the company, uh, it seems that there is no sign of slowing down by TSMC. TSMC is making the history, hitting the 1 trillion market cap as the first Asian company and being the first AI manufacturer. They continue to dominate the global market share. Drop your comment below to share your view. How do you view about this stock and this company? If you find this video helpful, do give us a like. Consider to subscribe to our channel as we are going to post more frequent video on market updates. Okay, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next one.